Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It is Uncle Matt and Aunt Jesta. Tonight, we're making our way to one of our favorite pizza spots in Nashville. We are going to Rock and Dough Pizza. We're not just going to get some pizza though, it's Nerdy Talk Trivia tonight. So we're gonna do the trivia thing today. Trivia at Rock and Dough Pizza tonight. Right, we have arrived. We are at the Nations location in Rock and Dough. They also have locations in Madison. And of course at Geodis Park, but this is the go-to one for us. It was closed for quite a while, but uh, reopened about a month or two ago. There's Shasta. This is the hardest one. Three different sets of three words. I'm going to give you three different sets of three words. For each set of three words, I give you. You have to write down one word. Again, I'm going to give you Jessica three different sets of three words. For each set of three words, I give you. You might want to write these down. I will spell these out. I'll play a song. It's about five minutes or so. Here we go. Round number four. Missing link. Your first set of words. Step. S T E P. Man. M A N. Bell. B E L L. Second set of words. Third and final set of words. Home. H O M E. Lord. L O R D. Mark, M A R K. I repeat all three sets. First set, step, man, bell. Second set, light, rest, snow. Third set, home, board, mark. Have to the end of the song, you're the artist and type. That's the easiest to ever been. I know. I know this. This is. Alright, so of course, normally we would get pizza here, but New Year, New Me, so it's uh, the Southwest salad. Bone apple tea. They're the best ranch in the world here. Salad probably just a salad, but this ranch is the best ranch in the world. We're driving them. Salad's kind of spicy. Popping up water a little bit. Good though. I'll read the six point food first and I'll wait a minute. Then I'll read the four point food and I'll wait one minute. Then I'll read the final two point food and I'll wait one minute. As a team, you can guess any time you like. Trace time. However, you only get to guess one time. So make your guess count. You only get to guess one. We're watching Jeffrey the other day. The answer was Spike Lee. Like, the again. man who discovered Jerry so Sutton. Spike Lee. <laughs> Born in 1985 in Hawaii, he is a musician, a singer, and producer that is better known by a stage name and released his debut studio album in 2010. Yep. I repeat, born in 1985 in Hawaii, he is a Actress, here is your six point clue. Born in 1967 in Hawaii, she is an actress and producer that rose to fame in movies in the late 80s slash early 90s, and she has won five Golden Globes so far in her career. I repeat, born in 1967 in Hawaii, she is an actress and producer that rose to fame in movies in the late 80s, early 90s, and she has won five Golden Globes so far in her career. That is your six point clue. You got a minute. Four more clues, same person. She has been married to two incredibly popular celebrities. She has Australian and American citizenship. She was in a popular Batman movie in 1995. Recently, she has been starring in TV shows on HBO. I repeat, she has been married to two incredibly popular celebrities. She has Australian and American citizenship. She was in a popular Batman movie in 1995. Recently, she has been starring in TV shows on HBO. Yeah. Look how easy that stuff is to do. There are no right or wrong answers. You don't have to get the most common. I'm going to give you three statements. Family feud style, you got to get the top answer. Family feud style, where we've surveyed 100 people, and we, have, we got their top three answers. You're going to have to get. I hope he makes the faces like Steve Harvey. All right, here we go. Number one. If there was an award for loudest in the zoo, which animal would win it? Number two. Name the most wrinkled part of the human body. Should be fun. And number three. Name something parents are always telling their kids to clean. I'll repeat them all. Number one. If there was an award for loudest in the zoo, which animal would win it? Number two. Name the most wrinkled part of the human body. 
Number three, give me something. Parents are always telling the kids to clean. You have to get two of the top three answers of each. You're free. With the artist and title. All right, while we wait to find out how badly we screwed that round up, here is a look at the menu in case you're curious about what they have on offer here at Rockin' Dough. Always lots of good choices here. We usually go with the Roni, just kind of your standard specialty pepperoni. We do a half and half, and we also get Buffalo Soldier. Good. Number two, name the most wrinkled part of the human body. Number one, the face. Number two, the neck. Number three, the hands. stand for in a BB gun. Number two, in what state would you find Cedar Point Amusement Park? And question number three, what is an angle called that is between zero and 90 degrees? Repeat all three. Number one, referring to the popular children's gun, what does the BB stand for in a BB gun? Number two, in what state would you find Cedar Point Amusement Park? And number three, what is an angle called that is between zero and 90 degrees? Until the end of the song, we're the artist and title. Berry. The berry. No, that's what you got. You got all the time. There we go. Final trivia. Everything on the line. Are they telling us who's in, they're giving the points first? Ooh. Do we know what to bet? Here are the scores going into final trivia. Here we 17th place, 57 <laughs> points. Sweetie Gill. 16th place, 58 points. Purple Nurples. In 15th place, 59 points. Agoraphobic A goes to Orlando. 14th place, 63 points. Pin Pals. In 13th, 65 points. Nature Boys. 12th place, 67 points, Brews, Beers, Battlestar Galactica. In 11th place, 68 points, Drinking to Forget. 10th place, 71 points, The Saucy Intruders. In 9th place, 72 points, 911. 8th place, 73 points, Sherlock Holmes. 7th place, 74 points, Troy's Angels. In 6th place, 78 points, Whopper. In 5th place, 79 points, Smarty Pines. Uh, in fourth place, 80 points, attention on follow-up. In third place, 87 points, rockin' dill dough. Uh, in second place, 93 points, she doesn't even go here. And currently first with 105, what about get it? Board games. Board games. Board games. Board games, think about what you want to do. Make sure you get that in as soon as you can. Always, always. Bend it on. Category is board games. Here is your question. In Monopoly, what color is the Atlantic Avenue property? In Monopoly, what color is the Atlantic Avenue property? You have one minute.
I'm going to call the top three teams and I'll announce the fourth place team and give them some time to tell me what the music category is for the next week. I'll let you all know. Tied at zero. Uh, but tonight in third place, ten dollar gift card, the Saucy Intruders. In second place, twenty five dollar gift card, Rock and Dill Doge. In first place tonight, fifty dollar gift card, What About Bob? And the grand prize fourth place team, Judy Music Drinking to Forget. Drinking to forget you are in fourth place. Here's a look at the board. All of our guesses throughout the night. Sad final guess of red. Did us in. Shucks. Started off so well. Well, that was a disappointing result. It We're usually like good. It's like a whole door. If, there, if you need a door for your home, there's a door in the alley behind Rock and Doe in the Nations in West Nashville. So oh, hey, <laughs> this this vlog is helpful in more ways than you could ever imagine. We usually do pretty good. We win a lot. I'm not gonna I'm not bragging, but we win a lot of trivia. Yeah, we really do. And we were like what second we were second place until final trivia. Yeah. But one of the friends we were with had said the correct answer and we overruled him, so we'll take the L on that one. Yeah. That is a skunk. Is that a skunk? Or that is marijuana. I was gonna say, I don't think that in this part of if town, I don't think that's a skunk. That's fine, but if it's a skunk, you need to move. I don't think it's a skunk in this part of town. Uh, always fun at Rock and Doe though, but we gotta get home now. I think it's I just... All right, so I'm back home. Mr. Cat and me hanging out by the couch. Disappointed in our result, disappointed we didn't put in the effort to win trivia tonight. Disappointed we went to a delicious pizza place and ate salads, but new year, new me. That's the life we've chosen at this point in time where we eat salads instead of pizzas. I've been told the results will benefit us in the end. Is this true, Mr. Cat? Am I gonna benefit from eating salads all the time? Who's to say? If you want to find out if I benefit from eating salads instead of pizza, subscribe to the channel with the bell turned on for notifications because the journey of eating salads instead of pizzas is an ongoing battle that will... Come on, man. Stop. Pat him. Never. Pat him. Give him a kiss. Look over here. Kiss his nose. Scumbag animals all over this house right now, just ruining the outro of the video. <sighs> Subscribe to the channel with the bell turned on for notifications so you can see if the animals ever get let back inside the house. See if Larry gets thrown out of the house and is never let to return in. Also, if you like this trivia video, there may be trivia coming up at a new location because we were informed that Tuesday nights, which is kind of one of our regular trivia nights where we'll try to find a place to do trivia. Oh, spoiler alert, the animals got left in. I said they had to subscribe to the channel to find out and you just ruined it. Oh, what? What did I ruin? But there's a new restaurant that has trivia on Tuesday nights, Sushi. We may be checking that out in the future. So that could be a video you'll see on the channel in the future. Even though everything else that you were supposed to find out got ruined. Spoiler alerts all over the place. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell on for notifications. That's Mr. Cat. As always, he wishes you a great night and a pleasant tomorrow. There's too many animals in this house. Something has to be done to fix this.